because they just think it's all about the art and it's called show business see when you get carried away with the show and you forget it's a business you get caught up I've done the show mm -hmm. I'm doing the business if you fail to understand that too bad Sometimes when I and when I watch you in the news, I'm just like, is he doing this on purpose, or is this just, just happened? I'm, I'm, you literally, you have us on a string, Jim, and then here you come with this reality show that didn't help. Um, there was another incident that happened that got us all confused once again the TB Joshua incident well not incident what I, what would I call that the TB Joshua saga whatever you want to call it yes I love you view it in a negative light I don't was I, that really was that real journey okay so you can walk into a church a man of God places you have a you you yeah. fall and then nobody sees anything extraordinary so you might walk into a church and fall and then everybody says, oh my God, evil spirits were cast from him, man. Everybody has an opinion. I could have, you know they said they paid me 15 million naira to me. Did Nadia put you up to that? Because the report said, allegedly, that she, that was part of a condition for you. That you, for her to marry you, <laughs> you had to go to TV, Joshua, to go get delivered um, from the spirits that don't want you to them. be in a marriage. Uh, uh, when you sit here, man, before we sat down. And I feel yeah. ridiculous asking that question. Yeah, you, you, you should be. You should yeah, be. I feel ridiculous. Yeah. So if it's ridiculous, then it's a ridiculous question. So I'm not going to give you a ridiculous answer. Okay, I will so hopefully give you an intelligent answer. An please intelligent do. Answer. I got you. We will be right back with Jim Ike. <laughs> right here on Golden Icons. You guys stay tuned. I felt so ridiculous asking that question. Because that is so true. Like, you don't even... Jim, I'm not going to marry you unless you go get delivered by TV Joshua. I'm t but you know what? That It went around like that. That I had to go... No, no, no. I met Nadia. You did? Yes. Before you. We had an interview with her and she is a sweet, sweet, sweet hot. Completely different from what I I would have thought watching all the movies like Beyonce and, and Co. And when the news about your relationship came out, it was like, whoa, this is this is definitely different. We now see on your reality show that you engaged her. Was that engagement really real, or was that part of this? Again, with this it just sounded like a really nasty breakup, um, based on what we're reading online but, but, and stuff but, like that. That's true, Eva, but I didn't say one word all through. Yeah, we have an idea. I didn't say one word, not in defense of myself, not against her. So now I'll tell you why, because it's been years. I spent six years with an amazing woman. Yeah. Six years. And so I, I can understand her pain though. I don't know her pain, what her pain is, but I'm just sitting now thinking, you went from that relationship to like a really, really, really high profile relationship. What do you know about it? Were you leaving with us? That's true. No, you but, so, hey, uh, I'm a fan. Were, no, people I can not. make my judgment. So, no, no, you can't make your judgment based on hearsays on what you don't know. And That's I true. I completely disagree. Because okay. that is telling me now that were you a third girlfriend, were you leaving with us or something? No, you weren't. Because the truth was that that relation was well over. So how... Do you think you're a lot to handle in a relationship? Because this has got to be no, no, not. difficult for a girlfriend. Let me tell you, this was a date, and you told me all this. I will run. 
Be a, call me a coward. That's what I can be with a coward. Call me a coward. The adventure of it. Why do you want to oh, be with God. somebody you can figure out in five minutes? Because that is safe. Months. Predictability Why is do you provide want to be safety. Safe with your life all the time. Hey. It's boring. <laughs> it's you. You're crying. I'm so <laughs> How does how does Nadia do it then? In the industry these days, we see that power has kind of shifted. You know, before in the 2000s, it was all about Nollywood, the film industry. You guys were the ones getting all the endorsements and stuff like now that. Now it's music. Now it's turned to music. What do you think has? Why did you think nothing, that shift nothing. happened? It's, it's just the tide of time. The one constant thing in life has changed. If you want to sit around and, and mourn about it, you will mourn all your life. And that is why everybody has something to mourn about. If you shift it before time shift, you will not see the shift. It will not affect you. The next thing is that what doors did this venture open for me? I'll tell you what doors. I'll give you an example. The fact that I can walk into Sierra Leone and without protocol, see the president in two hours. I can walk into Gambia and see the president in one hour. I can walk into Nigeria and see my president within two hours. What other doors do you need? So what you sit down with and what do you discuss? The fact that you want the economy to be better, you want politics to go its way, you're vying for him to be the next president of the world. I don't know what they discuss. I know what I discuss. <laughs> I trust that conversation. I trust that. I trust. I don't. I, I can bet money on that. Coming this fall, live from Houston, Texas, the Guillermo Awards. Your favorite stars from around the world. It's epic. Hey! Good evening, Houston! The one event you can't afford to miss comes this fall. Exciting. Entertaining. The Guillermo Awards. For more information, visit www.guillamoawards.com.